Hey, what's up, guys? We are back again for the Dagger Duchess Challenge in Clash Royale. This challenge has popped up into the game, and we're going to show you the best deck to complete it quite quickly. So, really jumping right in. We're going to go and copy and paste the deck that I have, and that's exactly how it should be. Because unfortunately, as you can see, there are not two evolution slots. There's only one evolution. In a regular game of Clash Royale, if you are level 15, play Evolution Bats and also Evolution Zap. But precedence is always on the Evo Zap in this deck. And this is a deck that Muhammad Light is even complaining about, saying that is overpowered to an extreme extent, the point that you don't have to think. So, the, obviously, Cannoneer doesn't do super well against bait cards, so, like, Graveyard's going to be really good, Bats are really good, Night Witch is really good. Uh, Princess Tower gets overwhelmed just because you have so much stuff coming at it as well. And, unfortunately, uh, you know, <laughs> you have the worst of both worlds with the Dagger Duchess. Does super well in single elixir against a lot of spammy cards like you know goblin barrel however it does terribly when a giant is tanking it exhausts all the daggers and then has nothing to kill the giant because the giant has too much health and then you know the graveyard skeletons flock over the tower and the dagger duchess doesn't do so well there the dagger duchess gets overwhelmed by bats and the night witch bats and then this just becomes utter chaos if people are running goblin drill you've got the bowler to go and kill the goblin drill get counter push defend against battle rams evo battle rams this is just a really, really good deck, and it's played at top ladder. It's actually considered to be one of the best decks in the game and one of the easiest to play. So that's where we're going to be using it in this event right now. Also, Dagger Duchess does not do very well into Giant. It doesn't do well when uh, its daggers are out of sight, and uh, then the Giant Night Witch or the Giant Graveyard will win you the game. So let's try to win this without any losses today. Again, I stayed up until a casual 2.30 a.m. to start this challenge for you guys. If you enjoy, if you appreciate, make sure to drop a like on the video. Show that you appreciate it. And, uh, you know, if you like the video, then Clash Royale is going to be like, hey, uh, we're going we're gonna to give you more views or whatever. I guess maybe not Clash Royale, but YouTube. YouTube gives us more views. It recommends it to more people. And then we're able to do more live streams for you guys. So yeah, definitely like it if you enjoy or appreciate the fact that I showcase the best decks and I stay up to get this challenge out as early as possible for you guys. If you're wondering, I do do this every single challenge, so just the day of the challenge, as soon as it comes up, come to my YouTube channel, you can subscribe, uh, either way works, and then you'll get notified when I have the deck, and then you'll be able to complete the challenge without any losses and have a good time. As you can see, Graveyard is really good in this challenge because, you know, the Dagger Duchess is running out of its daggers, and then it just dies. It just can't counter the bats. The game's already over, right? Like... It's way too easy. So in a regular YouTube video, right? We would just would not include this in our content because guess what? It's a little bit too simple. If it's an easy win, I barely cut it out. But since this is a real representation of the challenge and this is this easy, we're just going to show it. You know, we're going to dominate everyone decisively. And early on, if you play this challenge at the very start, everyone's going to be a little bit better. The later you play on the challenge, the faster, you know, people are able to get all the way up to the top and uh, they have more time to not play against the best players. But if you played it at the very start, there's really no room for error since the people that we're going to be playing against at the later stages of this challenge have had to win all of their games to get there. Because otherwise, you know, like they wouldn't be able to get to the top of the challenge since the challenge just started. They had to have won a lot of games in a row. But if you play the challenge a little bit later in the day or later, I guess, uh, in multiple days, it's better because all the noobs with pass morale that doesn't like play the challenge perfectly with the wrong decks... Sometimes they can just win by eventually getting good matchups. So it's really funny. You will typically play against better players if you're playing this challenge right when it uh, starts. So better to pop off in either watching me or, you know, just not playing the challenge and waiting until uh, the later parts of it. Anyway, this Night Witch is racking up a lot of value, giving us guaranteed arrows value as well. Very nice. And the bowler, oh my gosh, the bowler almost hit the tower there. Anyway, we know that his... Dagger Duchess is really struggling. So I'm just going to go in for another graveyard and not care. And we can Little Prince here if we want. Guarantee that we're able to finish off the Miner. If you guys have noticed one thing, Miner is really bad into the Dagger Duchess. Dagger Duchess is phenomenal at cleaning up Miners and Hog Riders. It just doesn't have enough daggers in its arsenal to clean up beatdown decks. And the later the game gets, the worse the Dagger Duchess is. Dagger Duchess is really, really good when you're trying to get positive Elixir trades in single Elixir and your opponent doesn't have a lot of units in the map. It also disincentivizes people to play Royal Recruits or Three Musketeers because if you're doing things on both sides, you're going to engage both of the Dagger Duchesses, but both of the Dagger Duchesses are going to give value. 
Also, if you're running Dagger Duchess and you have a tower, you can pull units to the middle and then defend having both of your Dagger Duchesses clean up whatever units they have. So I really like running Dagger Duchess with buildings as well. But this deck right now that I'm showing is the best Dagger Duchess deck for this challenge. No questions asked. No matter what skill level you are, it's phenomenal. Notice how his Miter gets deleted. Like, you do not want to be playing Miter Poison in this challenge. That is just a huge no-no. And this guy did not catch the memo, so he's going to catch an L. That is, that's what's going to happen here. We go for the Giant. We go in for a Graveyard. And we should walk away with a lot of damage here. Even if he's going to end up having Mother Witch, it's really not that scary. And if you're wondering why is it not that scary, Jake, you just go for the Buller and you should be fine. So I really enjoy playing decks like this that have answers to cards that would typically counter Graveyard. I'm really, really happy that we got this matchup because there's so many people that will be asking me, what are you supposed to do? But I'm ready to show you guys. Notice how the Buller counters the Goblin Drill most of the time. Unfortunately, uh, it did not target there, but it's all good. doesn't really matter to me. Archer Queen should die, so will the Mother Witch. And then we can go in gleefully, spam more stuff. So again, I really like going in for Giants here. I'm just going to let that Miner die. Then I go in for Bats. I'm pretty sure I just win the game. I actually don't think he defends this. There's a chance that he does, but it's very limited. It's extremely limited. I'm, <laughs> I'm honestly considering going in for Arrows and Zap, and I don't know if that kills Mother Witch. I kind of forgot. We'll see. I think it does. Yeah, it does. All right, so Arrow Zap kills Mother Witch. That's one of the real uh, benefits of running this deck as well. Even though it is a negative trade, it's not that bad of a trade to take. Think about it from the department of, I am arrows and zapping for a 5 to 4 trade. Not the worst, it's a negative 1 trade, but you're also getting tower damage as well, right? The only thing is, you might not have enough elixir to go in for the aggressive graveyard with giant and then go for the arrows plus zap. So what I would do is I would let the mother witch stock up all the pigs, go in for my bowler, defend against the mother witch pigs, and then in double elixir, then you can zap plus arrows on the mother witch. And that's a lot better of a, a trade then. Anyway, this guy already lost his tower. I think he lost the game too. Even if he has Archer Queen, which is one of the strongest, if not the strongest champion in the game right now, it's it's still dead. It's, it just doesn't really matter that much. We can go in for arrows and evolve Zap here. There's a lot of different things we can do. Genuinely, don't really want to. I want to just go and wait a little bit longer and then go for Evo Zap on other cards. Because I knew he was going to drop the Inferno Dragon since we knew that was his best answer to the Giant. Uh, I just decided to wait. I, if I went in for the Evo Zap on top of the, the Money Witch, sure it dies, but... Why not get the most value you possibly can in Clash, right? We're not here to just, like, win the game. We are here to assert utter dominance with the best deck for the challenge. And I'm taking nothing other than three crowns or really fast wins. Let's go. Let's get it. It's obviously not pre-recorded. No, dude. Obviously, it can't be pre-recorded. How could it be pre-recorded? This is a live stream on YouTube. YouTube doesn't let you do that. And also, did I pre-record it 30 minutes ago and then decide to right after i don't even think i would have been able to finish this challenge in 30 minutes all right let's keep going he plays on a tablet yeah i play on a tablet for a bigger viewing screen for you guys it's just better that way i saw you played against my clan leader chase uh you got lucky and he had nothing to defend that battle ram and he only had two elixir i don't know if i got lucky man i feel like generally when i play the game i i think through my decisions right like a lot of times i'll end up uh Putting my opponent in a position where they're forced to have nothing because you know like they genuinely don't have elixir since i forced them to spend elixir to defend something else right i don't know tag just talking to talking to himself he's the best nah dude i'm talking to you guys and i mean this video this vod is probably gonna get at least fifty thousand views probably more than that but you know it's it's nice it's it's refreshing to be able to record with a live audience it's really cool favorite athlete probably roger federer just because he's uh, he's definitely the goat all right, what are we doing here? We go for a giant and then arrows. Looking pretty, pretty good. If we go for a giant graveyard right now, it'd be hard for this guy to manage a awesome defense. Because if we get arrows on the firecracker and then you know the giant's just tanking, I don't know how he's able to defend this effectively. The guy's gonna get at least a couple shots on the tower. As you can see, his deck doesn't do so well into the later stages where we're able to go in for graveyards. That was just the first graveyard, you know. That wasn't even a big graveyard. That was just the minor graveyard that already is kicking his tower. All right, anyway, we're going to go bats here. We should be fine. Dagger Duchess is not that great against Balloon, I would say. I think that's one of its main weaknesses, especially if they go like minor in Balloon and they have an automatic tank and then you don't have a building. I think that's definitely going to be a harder matchup if we match into a lot of Balloon players. But as you can see, Dagger Duchess kind of sucks against most high damage uh like things that you need to kill with like a mini P.E.K.K.A. or Inferno Dragon. That's why a lot of top ladder decks that are running it with Goblin Drill are prepared to play minor 
poison-esque features like Mighty Miner plus a building, it's really important to have ample answers. Anyway, we're going to go for an arrows here. We don't want to reset the tower. Notice how the tower was targeting the giant, so we didn't want to go for the zap too soon. Now I think we're able to take most of the tower out, so pretty good position for us to go in for a bowler knock everything away. The one thing I am slightly scared about is what if he decides to go balloon other side? Oh, no, he's not going to. He's not one of them. Notice how he went for the lumberjack there. He's very committed to the cause of taking out the right-hand tower. That's very good for us that we're going to get him to do that. Get arrows. It doesn't even matter. I think we go giant here. And the cool thing that we have is if we take the tower on the right, then I think we're able to flow towards the other side too. I'm going to go graveyard. And then I'm going to go in for... Yeah, let's, let's just go for the Evo Zap because that's probably able to just kill. And then we can go in for arrows as well. And I mean, this is just a lot of value. A lot of damage. And, you know, we got uh, kind of a nice lead on the left-hand side. Let's go for a Night Witch so we can start to spawn some bats. And disincentivize this guy from going in for a balloon push there. And then if you guys are wondering like what the best play is, if you go in for a graveyard before you go in for the giant, that's generally what I like to do the most. Reason is, it takes a little bit of time for the graveyard to spawn in the skeletons. So, oh, it should... No, nah, it's not going to target what we want, I guess. All right, we'll just arrows on the guards. It's not going to kill completely, but... Wow, that worked really well. What is this Lumberjack doing? What is this Lumberjack doing? Oh, Lumberjack, you were chopping down the wrong thing, my guy. Anyway, we can go in for the balloon counter with Little Prince and then go for bats. He's probably going to go for some spells. That's exactly what happens. Doesn't kill my Little Prince. That's all that matters. Little Prince survives, then our opponent can't survive. You feel me? Anyway, we're going to go for Giant before. Just because we want to go and tank for the Night Witch. Uh, hopefully get some bats on the tower and win the game because you don't always need to go for Graveyard. If you have the Night Witch bats flowing at the opponent, it can count as a Graveyard. It's the Graveyard of the Sky. As you watch your opponent die, as all your bats continue to fly. Anyway, we're going to go to the next game. Are you not tired, my bro? Oh, I've just been vibing. I've been having a really, really good day so far. Just went to Costco, had some great food, um, feeling a lot better. I'm starting to get over a sickness that I had earlier. Man, I mean, you got to be thankful for things. You got to be happy. You got to enjoy life whenever you have low moments. Those low moments make you happier. It makes you more excited for other things, right? I had a pretty, uh, pretty rough last couple days just because I wasn't feeling so good. And now I'm like really, really happy. Um, I don't know. At least that's one thing for me. Like, you know, when you can't breathe very well and then for the first day that you could actually breathe, you just gain this new appreciation for being able to literally have air in your lungs. You're like, wait, I can breathe. <laughs> I know it's a stupid phenomenon, but, uh, you gotta, you gotta be appreciative of those things. And sometimes like, uh, you know, the human body or the human mind, uh, really realizes like later on, oh, wow, I can't believe how good things were when you have bad things happen to you as well. It's pretty easy to um, be complacent and not be appreciative of the people around you, not be appreciative of the situation that you're in. Uh, and then when you actually realize it, when you lose that thing, you're like, dang, wow, it could have been, uh, could have been really, really nice to know that I uh, had so many good things going for us. Anyway, how tall are you? Uh, ex Ixlander, what country are you in? Oh, I'm 5'11 and a half, like 5'11. I'm not six feet. <laughs> okay, I'm not six feet. That's that's all you need to know. Uh, I am 5'11 and a half. Yo, yo, yo. All right, we're going to go for arrows here, and then we are going to be able to finish it off. You're live. I like watching all your lives. Yeah, dude, it's always vibes. It's 12 uh, 40 p.m. in Finland. Wow, yeah, it's just lunchtime for you. When I have a blocked nose when sick, I always uh, think I should appreciate it more when it's not blocked. I know, but, you know, like, it's so easy to adjust to a new normal. It's the same thing as there's studies and things shown where people would say, wow, I would be extremely depressed if I didn't have a leg or if I lost one of my legs. But if you ask people that have, like, lost their legs, some people that are like that, they're, like, pretty happy with life after a certain amount of time, after they've acclimated to their new lifestyle. Obviously, not everyone, right? Some people are just going to be very, very upset for their entire time in, in life. But um, sometimes people can adjust and have this new normal. Uh, it's a weird saying, but time heals all wounds, even though it doesn't necessarily heal all, heal all wounds. It makes you adjusted because you kind of forget what life was like before, right? Um, so for good and for bad, like sometimes when you don't really appreciate all the good things, that you had until like, you know, you actually remember, right? And when you're sick, it makes you remember, man, I really, uh, 
I, now I physically remember how it feels to feel bad because I'm going through it right now. So then you are forced to be appreciative, right? That's that's the thing. Um, relativity of like time matters so much. Anyway, how old are you? I'm 27. I just turned 27 uh, earlier this year. Bro, please give Diamond Pass. Imagine if I gave Diamond Pass to, you know, the thousand people that are watching. <laughs> You know how broke I'd be, bro? I'd be. I'd have to take out, like, I, I I don't have a house. I'd have to take out a non-existent mortgage, bro. I'd have to go to, uh, you know, <laughs> I have to take out a fake college loan and be like, yo, uh, just hit me up for the one time. <laughs> It'd be so bad. Is your real name Sir Tag? No. But for you, maybe we could say that, right? I don't know, man. If that fulfills your dream, if that fulfills something that makes you happy, I don't know, man. We can we can say that. We can say that. What's your real name? My real name's Jake. If you guys ever want to see, if you ever see me in person, you guys can always call me Jake or um, yeah, just in general, even in, in, online in comments, it's all good. I honestly, uh, I think calling me Jake is just more normal. All right, all right, let's go. The Hoggy Q is dead. I'm a free-to-play player and I have Hoggy Q fully maxed. What do you mean? My guy, you understand that Hog Rider Earthquake is one of the best decks in Clash Royale. This, this is not something that I am going to endorse. This is, no, I, this is insanity, my guy. There's no way. This is not a reality. You are living in a different world. You know how sometimes in anime, people get tra transported to a different world? My guy, you are in that different world. How did you get there? I want to know. <laughs> For real. Uh, honestly, Hogger EQ with Firecracker is with one of the most prevalent decks in the game. And it is so unfair. It is so utterly unfair. I hate losing against it more than anything. If I don't have an answer to Firecracker, they stack up Firecrackers. It is just a frustrating experience, my dude. So I, I can't. I can't lie to you. I can't even. You know, even if it made you feel better, I, I can't lie to you. Hog Rider Earthquake is that good. So you just got to start learning how to play the deck a little bit better if you're struggling. Which is okay. I mean, that means that you have more room to improve, right? To make you happy to know that. Because you have a lot of uh, lot of good upwards momentum once you figure out what you're supposed to be doing. Also, I'm pretty sure this guy is not supposed to be going in for that tornado into his tower. He just wanted to taste death a little bit faster, I guess. I don't know. That was a good time, though. We're going to go for bats. We're going to go and bewilder his bowler. And uh, I guess I'm a little bit bewildered by the fact that he is going to do this, but... All I need to do is prevent him from three crowning me, uh, which might not be possible. I don't know. Kind of. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we're airing that. Uh, okay. I think we're okay, maybe. I mean, maybe that's what I want to think. And maybe that's why we're thinking it. And maybe that's what's going to happen eventually. But this guy is dropping cards that he really should not be dropping. Okay. He's going to continue the theme of the meme. Okay. We definitely are in a bad spot, but not the worst spot. Right? Maybe? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. What is... I'm so confused on what is happening in this game, but all I know is I do not like the fact that he has Electro Dragon. That is the one card I did not want to see. I can't even fib. That is not a fun card to match into for us. Okay. I did not expect that to work so well for us. We'll take it. I'm pretty sure the Giant hits the tower twice and we win the game. Maybe not. Okay. Never mind. Little Prince ability. Pop through, pop through, please, for the one time. Very cool. We definitely gonna have to go giant. Otherwise, the Electro Dragon ruins me. It still might ruin me. Why is it on my tower? Yo, reset. Please. I think I lost. Unless? Is there any way that I stop this? How much damage does Evo Zap do? Probably not enough, right? Alright, definitely not enough. I lose. Yeah, I lost. Dang it. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it does the it does the thing where it, it does three of them. I forgot. <laughs> the dejected tone from oh I lost to like so the surprise win. Nothing hits harder than that. You know, it's nice like not knowing that you won and then winning. How did we win at like, I don't know. Was he at 300 HP? 
Did we just do 300 HP worth of damage with two cards? That's insane. That was wild. Isn't it way better to have that surprise factor where you're just not expecting to win and then you get the win and you're just really happy? Dang, that was insane. Oh. Bro became a kid? Dude, I, I've always been a kid. I don't know if you've been watching my channel or know who I am, but I am a meme. I really, I, it's, I do not deserve to be called a, an adult. I am really, really just a, a memer. That is what I am. Anyway, we're going to go in for a little prince here and we'll see what we can do. Definitely want to be able to devour this so then we can go in for arrows afterward. Idealistically, that is the best play. Lava Hound is not an easy card for us to counter, but it's manageable. Manage a bubble. All right, pop the ability. Go bats. This might bewilder him a little bit. I don't know. I'm just feeling like, ah, if he didn't have a small spell, we would be able to give him hell, but that did not work. So the downside of running the Dagger Duchess is it gets overwhelmed by stuff. Unfortunately, this guy was smart enough to run, you know, that. So kind of sucks for us. Do we just graveyard? Guards are out of cycle. Let's just run it. Why not just run it and see what happens? If he runs away with the win, I'm going to blame myself, but hopefully that doesn't happen. All right, we're just going to zap Arino. I think he's kind of in a bad spot, maybe. Assuming the goblins die, which they are not dying. Okay, never mind. We're in a bad spot. If he goes skeleton dragons, we're also kind of screwed. I think I have to go for Little Prince and stop him from three crowning me. TBH. To be honest, I'm not honestly loving it, but it's okay. Even if you don't love it, you can still make it happen if you play well enough. So we are just going to let that tower go. He is going to deal a decisive blow. And then we're going to go head on toe all the way towards the tower on the right-hand side and try to take it. We're going to galvanize the aggression. And hopefully this works out. I mean, I think we take tower here. I hope he lob hounds. Eh, he's not really listening to me. He's an unruly individual. He's an unruly, unruly sir. All right, wait, we can still rule him though. He loses the Skeleton Dragons here to the, the Evo Zap. Wait, what is he doing? Yo, bro just got cooked. Bro just got cooked. He thought. He thought he could defend. Honestly, I didn't know if he could defend either. I was just I was sitting there wondering and watching. It didn't work so well for my guy, though. I think he's dead. He might have just he might have just gotten roasted and toasted, my dudes. Wow, this deck is so brainless. Isn't it fun using my suggestions that don't require any skill? When you think you're going to lose, you just win. You just win. If you guys know anything about the channel, one of our mantras, one of our unbelievably stupid sayings is just win in every single situation. When I'm about to lose, we just scream, just win at me. And sometimes it works. And then uh, the times it doesn't work, we say that we disconnected. And uh, Supercell needs to nerf the card and uh, make up every excuse we possibly can. Because the just win never fails. Bro is just leaving the balloon. Yeah, I didn't really care. All right, we will go. Uh, where's Dominic from? He's a German player. Played like a true golem main. Beautiful tower sack. That's what we like to hear. Beautiful compliment, my guy. Just win. Yeah, guys. Spam just win in the chat. When you see me losing, spam just win. And if I, if I lose, the, the best advice you can give me to play better is just win. Because it's never bad advice to say just win. Like, how, how, would, how would that ever be bad advice? If someone's, like, not winning the game, that's that's what they need to do to have better results. Obviously. All right, so this guy's got Pekka. He's still going to lose. It doesn't even matter. Pikachu, you're screwed. Pikachu, no Pokemon. We're poking you down, my dude. All right, I feel like he loses the Pekka. <laughs> it's so funny to watch the Pekka just be at zero health. Like, why... What is that supposed to do? Oh my gosh, my dude. Imagine dropping a battle ram into that. Imagine dropping a battle ram into a bowler. Could not be me. You are adventurous to a different degree. And that battle ram really wanted to flee, but it was forced to go right into a freaking bowler. Imagine. Imagine the sacrifice you made. Wait. If we spam and he doesn't have the dagger duchess repli uh, like replenished, does he just lose the... The, the P.E.K.K.A. again? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he just loses the P.E.K.K.A. Extrav just dies. <laughs> I love this. Dagger Duchess is so bad into this deck. Like, it's actually awful into our deck. It is so bad at dealing with a giant graveyard deck where we're just spamming at all points of time. 
This is actually hilarious. You would think that the Dagger Duchess would not be that bad into us, but it truly is. What is it going to do? Is it going to be able to kill the bowler? The answer is no. It is definitely not killing the bully boy. One more. Bully. Oh, got him. <laughs> How's it going, Jake? Isn't it 3 a.m. for you right now? It's 2.53. You know, not 3 a.m. yet. Get it right, bro. Don't get it twisted. It's seven minutes until three. But yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Uh, I'm just having fun. I'm trying to get the challenge out for you guys as quickly as I can. As I said before, every single challenge that's on Clash Royale, you guys can trust me to put out the best decks to show how to complete the challenge without using Pass Royale. So if you guys subscribe to the channel, you guys can stay connected. And uh, yeah, get ready to know that I will always give you guys content that uh, you can depend on to complete challenges. I got you, fam. All right. Uh, not great, but we should be able to take tower, I think, afterwards, so it's whatever. Not necessarily my best game player, but it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Our elixir is getting fatter. Alright, I guess we arrows this. Not ideal, but it happens. I don't want to waste the Evo Zap. I was thinking about it, and I was like, eh, that's probably stupid. Better off not doing that. Let's go Night Witch here, since we do kill the... Yeah, we kill that. Giante. Alright, we'll just Evo Zap on all that stuff. It's probably all dead and he just loses. I'm pretty sure the P.E.K.K.A. just gets distracted. What's the Pikachu doing? What the Pikachu doing? <laughs> P.E.K.K.A. just look at you. What you doing? What you doing, girl? She she going she going left, she going right, she doesn't even know where she wants to be in sight. Alright, well he's spamming with all his might, and much to my delight, everything's dead. Amazing. Alright, we're a graveyard here. We're gonna go for the giant. And I think we take him. I think we take him to town, you know? I think we take him to town and make him frown, and this game is ours. GG. Amazing. GG. That was a pretty fun game. La Fien Lachon. I really thought that name was Lotion. And you guys always say oil up. I was like, Lotion up. That's, just, that's his name, right? But it's not really so. Can't even say that. Sorry, it was seven minutes off, my bad. Dude, as your punishment, you were forced to donate another $5. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for, um, you know, you, you, I will count that as your bail. You are now, uh, you're, you're, now, you're now out of jail, my guy. $5 dono is enough uh, for the Monopoly jail. When is your next album? Uh, I don't know, man. That's a, that's a good question. So far, it's been never, but we, we never know. <laughs> Oil up. Dr. Seuss in the house, bro. I, I've always been Dr. Seuss, my guy. Pekka's a girl, yeah. Also, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to astound you guys for a second. If you have not looked at the mini Pekka, the mini Pekka has nipples. This is a miraculous thing that you guys have not seen yet. And if you don't believe me, y'all got to go to the mini Pekka on the Clash Royale screen and look. Look for yourselves, all right? The mini Pekka is a guy as well, by the way. I think. I'm like 100%. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I'm like 90% sure. Dick, are you an only child? No, I have a brother and a sister. Hog cycle bad against Dagger Duchess? It's not great against Dagger Duchess. Oh, Mayo. <laughs> I love you guys. Mini Pekka on the right side of the stream. Oh, yeah, it is. Wait, y'all. You, wait, you guys can just look at my overlay in the bottom right corner. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty spicy. You're so positive. Well, I'm positive about some things, man. I'm positive about the mini P.E.K.K.A. Positive about all my decks that I've created in these challenges. <laughs> yeah, it's a fun time, man. I also don't love this matchup, but hey, what can you do? Maybe just not suck and go into a Golem Electric Dragon. Maybe that would have been the play, guys. Amazing. Wait, I lose. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> Why did I do this? I guess I wanted to lose the game, guys. This is genuinely terrible decision making. But this deck that he is playing is like one of the better decks in Clash Royale. If you don't have an answer to Electro Dragon, you kind of just lose. So this is a very, very bad matchup for us. I did not play well. Is this a deserved loss? The answer is yes. I did not deserve to win this game. I played like trash. Wow. Evil Barbs are going to kill everything. That sucked. If you do match into this Golem deck, this was a Golem... This was one of the decks I was going to showcase for everyone, but then I disregarded it. I was like, you know, it's not really as easy to play as the other decks. Not as fun. 
kind of just spam stuff with a battle heal and electro dragon and the golem the deck that he's playing is very good i'll also show that as well i'm gonna make a video on it i think it is one of the best decks in clash royale by a wide margin however it does kind of sort of lose and uh well we do kind of sort of lose into it so it's not very fun for us to play into it's fun for us to play not for us to play into you can't you can't kill the Electro Dragon when it's getting healed up by the Battle Healer, so you have to go opposite lane the entire time. And uh, yeah, if you if you don't have anything to counter it, it's just going to be a loss. So that matchup was impossible, pretty much. But hey, it happens. One out of, I don't know, how many games have we played that we got one bad matchup? One out of eight games? Not bad. We'll take it. All right. Uh, thanks. Love you, bro. Dude, thanks for another five. You know, now you, now you got another get out of jail free card. So, you know. You're, you're doubling up. My man's on his my man's on his mission to win in Monopoly. He really is. Mini Pekka dad bod? Maybe. Maybe, dude. You have the most peaceful audience. We really do. We have such an awesome audience. Not even fib. Y'all are incredible. I love going onto the live streams and just like listening to what you guys have to say. It's pretty funny. I always get a good laugh. At least compared to other YouTube audiences where it's just like the generic same stuff over and over again. I think our YouTube audience is a bit, a bit different. I think it's a bit different for the most part. A lot of surprising stuff you guys say. Sleeping early, I see. Yes, sir. You're a perceptive individual. I like it. I like it. First off, respect to you understanding what our priorities are. <laughs> My just win didn't work. No, no, no. Your just win was actually intended for this game. I forgot to tell you, it doesn't work on the game that we're playing. It, it only works on the second one. How come you never BM them? Uh, that's wrong. I definitely do BM some people. Like, if they spam uh, emotes at me the entire game and then lose, it's kind of funny to BM them. But that only happens once in a while. It's very, very infrequent. Maybe, like, one out of 100 games. Really, seriously, like, one out of 100 games. <laughs> but it does happen. It does happen. It's it never is a, uh, is a strong word. So I had to... I had to make sure I tell you guys the truth. Alright. Anyway. We can just go Giant here and then go Bats and win the game. The game's already over. Yo, yo, yo! Have a great rest of the stream, says Mika. Mika, I hope you have an amazing rest of your night, man. Thanks again for the Donos. And then, uh, Printed Zuno says, Giant, Night Witch, Bomber, Evo Knight, Skeletons, Bat, Sap. Use this deck, please. I mean, that deck works. I'm just not going to play it. I don't want to. I want to play my deck. My deck is more fun. Also, we activated King Tower. Uh, what is that Firecracker supposed to do, my guy? Yo, you got to fire your Firecracker. That was awful. I'm just going to let it hit my tower. It, as a declaration of I don't care, we are literally letting our hit our tower for no reason. <laughs> oh, my guy is rolling in the deep. And he's rolling away with a loss. This is funny. Jeez, this is really good for us. Let's just arrows this. Guarantee that we do enough damage. Wait, can we Evo Zap Arrows? I'm pretty sure we Evo Zap Arrows take tower. My guy's freaking logging that too. Oh my gosh. Ah, that, that just feels wrong. Oh, he doesn't know. Oh, this is going to be so funny. Wait, yo, 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 yo. You aren't ready. Oh, look at that value. Okay, that should be illegal. That Y'all y'all should have paid money for that. That 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 should not have been in the, uh, the content that you guys see for free. That... If you guys know what I mean, that was that was not it. That was an unsavory stuff. That was straight out of a horror movie. High production value with the Evo Zap. Jeez, man. That was that was it. That was that was wild. Yeah, I know. Let's get it. Morning, I just woke up. Well, uh, good morning to you. It is 6 a.m. here in uh, in Boston. Definitely, I, I just woke up too. <laughs> you know, if I ever go back to the East Coast and I ever live in Boston again, I will probably wake up at 6 a.m. and I'll be going to bed so early. Right now, I'm just being degen and like staying up until 3 a.m. to show you guys. You look great today. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. You know, I love the vibes. But sometimes when you guys say that, you also are like, Jake... I, I was joking. You look like trash. <laughs> so I just, I, I have to wait. I have to wait like two seconds. I don't, I don't know. I feel, like, I feel like you're nice. I feel like you're, I feel like you're not one of them. I like that pre-zap on the graveyard. Thanks, bro. Love you. All right. His Chinese name is Spark last name. Oh, that, that, that is so funny. Wait, seriously? The guy's, was the guy Chinese last game and his name was Spark and he lost the Evo Zap? That is, that is so fitting. That is hilarious. 
shout out to the homie there that understood Chinese and was able to say that. I appreciate that. That's funny. It's really cool that you guys know different languages. Like, for instance, someone in Finnish said something and was like, you know, his name actually means this. I was like, I had no clue. That was really funny. This is my first time ever being able to watch her live due to work, and I'm truly happy, says Sean. Sean, I love your name, my guy. My best friend growing up was actually named Sean, and he spelt it exactly the way that you do. So, nostalgia. Yo, he was my doubles partner, and we played tennis together, and we won the uh, state championship with each other, so it was kind of fun. Is Giant Graveyard a good deck for the challenge? Yeah, that's why I have it titled as the best deck for the challenge and I'm playing it right now. Uh, what do you think about the Turkey Quaddle Dingle? I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I hope it's not bad. I hope I just didn't uh, like repeat something horrifically inappropriate. It's 6 p.m. on a Friday where I am right now. Time for the weekend. Dang, that's wild. I mean, you know, the world is different. The world be different at all points. There's different people. There's different places. There's different time zones. And uh, yeah, I mean, where it is 3 a.m. for me, it is 6 p.m. for you. And you're getting ready for the weekend. Wild. You're living in the future, my guy. Teach me the ways. Anyway, can we like not lose this game? I'm not asking for too much. I don't want to lose. Wait, you're still alive? Oh, maybe not. I just sacrificed everything into the giant. Or into evil barbs. Okay. Well, I think... Might be dead. But I can't say for sure. Oh! Very nice. Not very nice. Alright. Well, he lost evil barbs, right? Wait, he's gonna, he's gonna try to do some shenanigans. I can sense it. I can sense it. Oh, you cheeky lad. Cheeky cheeky. Okay, uh, I'm probably dead. Oh, no, no, no! GG. That was a close one. I wish I won. I wasn't very focused. So for the rest of the games, full sweat tryhard mode. Because I don't want to lose this challenge. So, I wasn't trying at all. Why did you not defend the Barbarians? I wasn't trying. We'll try a lot harder now. We'll try a lot harder now, okay? I, I didn't intend to lose any games. I thought we would just be able to, like, no-brain our way to victory. Um, I'm going to try a little bit harder. I'll, I'll explain my thought process as we play, too. Arrows on top of Dark Goblin, 3 for 3 trade. Really good trade. We'll take that all day long. I will zap on the tower just to cycle. It's fine. doesn't really matter. Bait cards do get destroyed by the uh, Duchess, so pretty good for us. And if he's got a uh, Goblin Barrel, we've got Bowler. Full counter is a Goblin Barrel. All right, so we're going to bowler in the back in the same side as his bowler. And then I definitely wanted to go and defend against his bowler and get a counter push rolling. So our strategy here is to go Night Witch as soon as we possibly can. Have the bowlers win out where our bats will also help our, our offense. We Little Prince here to shut down his Inferno Dragon. Try to zap on almost everything. Actually, we do zap on everything. Little Prince allows us to uh, do a lot of damage, but it doesn't necessarily matter that much in the grand scheme of things. The one bat will put us in a position where we're forcing him to probably go in for a Dark Goblin and Skeleton Army here. Dark Goblin, Skeleton Army. We go bats in the back, then we go Giant Graveyard. I think that enables us a little bit more Elixir so that I don't immediately have to respond to whatever he drops. This could be very, very good. It could be clutch. This could be big cash money. Like, for instance, like, notice how the bats are going to be able to kill almost all this stuff. The Dark Goblin just dies, and then the bat... Oh, come on, Dark Goblin. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. A lot of damage. And then the bats rack up damage. That's that's exactly what I envisioned. I thought the Dark Goblin would die earlier than that. Those were really good arrows on his end. He saved his butt. He should have lost the game, like, immediately there. But he recognized that he needed to keep the Dark Goblin alive. So I guess he played that a lot better than I thought he would. All right, we're going to go Night Witch because it costs less Elixir than the Bowler. And uh, I think it's just better to cycle here. We can go for the Bowler in the back. And notice how I'm not reading the comments right now. I'll read comments in between games, but, you know, after... After losing, because I wasn't really focused, I do want to focus up and guarantee that we win these games. Huge thinking? Yeah, you guys see a top 1,000 player actually playing to their full capacity. Imagine me not, like, purposely, like, inting my games because I'm <laughs> reading stuff. <laughs> Usually we have to nerf ourselves a little bit, I guess. I don't know, for the memes. But not right now. And for a Dragon's dead. He loses the game right now. Bad arrows. Very aggressive play. We go Giant, we go Graveyard, and we uh, Evo Zap on whatever he drops to. And he's just dead. Not defending this. There's zero percent chance. In fact, we can just zap on that. Might activate King Tower, but I don't really care. We get arrows here as well. That's game. GG. 
What is up with people tornadoing giants into their tower? It's uh, it's an interesting tech. It's not a good tech. Maybe he'll go for a skeleton army at the river. Let's make a little prince here. Maybe we can go for a prediction on the skeleton army. I don't think we're going to hit it. I think he gave up. Yeah, he probably gave up. That'd be cool. <laughs> we go next. GG's. Make sure the oil is within reach. Dude, my water is within reach, all right? All right. Top 1K player that's never finished um, 1K, top 1K. Then why is my top 10 finishes maxed out? Why are my top 10 finishes badge at max level? Hmm. I don't know, man. Uh, I feel like I feel like you don't understand uh, that I finished top 1,000 a lot. <laughs> if you guys are wondering, uh, that badge maxes out. If you finish top 10, if you finish within the top uh, 1,000, more times than it can count. All right. Uh, do you drink olive oil? Uh, I I mean, I put olive oil on toast sometimes, my guy. Oh, not you, the other guy? Oh, okay. Are you washed? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not as good as I used to be. 100%. Still top 1,000, but I'm not like a top 200 player like I used to be at all points in time. Anyway, let's not lose this game. Let's, uh, let's focus up. Right? Lost a bunch of games because I was crash. <laughs> We not play so well in those games. I, I cannot kind of lie. All right, we're gonna go graveyard here, and we win. GG. Very cool. All right, so we'll win the next game pretty quickly too. Um, as you guys can see, this deck, if you just focus on counter pushing and you don't drop giant graveyards at the river, it works a lot better. But I was using a single brain cell the entire time I was playing and reading the comments more so than actually focusing. I lost a couple games. Not gonna lie, it's kind of kind of what happened. Uh, so we're just gonna like focus during the games. You feel me? Let's go! Let's go! Let's get it! All right, one sec. Let's keep going. What's all with all the elixir golems? Ah, uh, there's a lot of elixir golems, man. Why is everyone saying oil up? Uh, it's just, I don't know. Something they say. I just got back from home. Let's uh, chill watching Sir Tag after office hours. Dude, uh, <laughs> you just got back and I'm about to go to bed after this. All right, ATP. Wait, I wonder if this guy's from uh, tennis. Maybe he's an ATP pro player. Okay, I hope not. It would be so sad, like, knowing that a professional tennis player that I look up to, like, drops Lumberjack at the start. Dude, uh, it's just ruining it. He was my hero. He was someone I looked up to. And... Little did I know, he was a Lumberjack player that drops out at the river. Oh, this is Golem. Oh, this is going to be hard. This is going to be really hard. It would be really, really hard for us to win. He's going to have Golem Electro Dragon. It would be a tough match. Oh, my gosh, dude. This is actually this could be a loss. I hope not, but we'll have to wait and see. We're going to zap on top of Elixir Collector. Don't know if it's great. I mean, he's going to NATO. That's good. We're in a good spot now. I think he's down a lot of Elixir. Worth. That doesn't kill the Dark Prince, but the Dark Prince does die. I don't think he's able to apply any meaningful pressure here. Could be good for us. We know it's a golem deck, though. Do I activate King? That is the question. I definitely want to now. Oh! What? How'd that die? This is a joke, right? His electric dragon just died? <laughs> uh, Alright, so... Be honest with y'all, guys. Alright? I don't think... That a tower should be able to fully finish off cards that survive against a princess tower. It really changes how the game is played to a drastic difference. Like, it is really different. Seeing a card like wall breakers die to a tower when a, you're spending two elixir as a win condition. I think that Clash Royale needs to reevaluate how they do their cards because, like, the Electric Dragon there dying just doesn't make sense. Like, I, I just don't, I don't think that the Electric Dragon should ever die there. Personally, I wouldn't take that if I was an Electro Dragon. <laughs> I mean, maybe I'd be forced to take it, but I wouldn't want to. I, like, I just don't want to take such a bad interaction every single time. No bad, man. It's, it feels horrible. All right, this matchup again, I don't love because I can't really kill the Electro Dragons very effectively, so that is the problem. Up to arrows it. All right, thankfully he died. Wow. Uh, somehow, some way, this guy decided not to protect his Electro Dragon, so... I guess we win this game, but uh, as you guys remember, if they have an Electro Dragon Battle Healer, that is a different story. You cannot stop that. It's an entirely different beast. 
Wait, 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 wait. We got two boars and a night wave. So there's no way, right? There's no way. Why am I trying to defend? Who, who am I? Who am I? Not a giant graveyard player, apparently. Not a giant graveyard player. What is he doing? All right. I'm gonna Evo zap in his face and then say goodbye. See you later, my guy. Well, probably not. Probably will never play against you again. But, GG! <laughs> uh, I'm just glad we were able to beat the villain. The, the, the ATP villain. Like one of those guys that hits the ball kids with the ball. Oh, man. I don't know if you guys have seen those compilations on YouTube, but some uh, tennis players get throw tantrums when they lose. They, like, break rackets. They chuck balls at ball kids. One of them hit, like, an umpire in the shin with his racket. There's some really wacky stuff in uh, tennis. I think tennis turns adults into babies that throw temper tantrums more than any other sport. Maybe there's another one. You guys let me know in the comment section or in the chat. Is there a sport that you guys have seen adults behave more like children then besides tennis? Tennis is supposed to be a sophisticated sport, but I don't know. I just, I see babies, adult babies every single time I watch it. Not everyone. I mean, obviously there's a lot of classy people, but a bunch of tennis players that are pretty funny. Anyway, what can we do here besides graveyard him? Oh, I think we're going to graveyard him. Stop running to Electro Dragon Clash Royale. Stop it. I really, really would love to match into someone that did not have that card, you know? Since we have a Night Witch, we have to go opposite lane every single time. Well, I mean, it is what it is. It is part of the game, I guess. All right, we just want to kill the Miner so we can arrows on everything. Uh, maybe we can get away with a Zap. Zap's better because we can cycle the Evo. If you're given the opportunity between arrows and Zap, obviously pick Zap even if you're going to take damage because Zap allows you to go and collect value with the Evolution. And that's just kind of how Clash Royale is played. You spam more evolutions than your opponent, you get better elixir trades. It's essentially like the equivalent of running an elixir collector in your deck. That's the way that I see it. You are cycling miniature elixir collectors with evolutions every time because you are guaranteed positive elixir trades. So why not take advantage of that? That is the truest uh, quote that I could give. Anyway, I really want to kill that. I don't like Electric Dragon. I don't think I'm going to accomplish too much here, but you never know. You never, never know. All right. Well, we're going to go in because he doesn't have Electric Dragon. Well, he's got those. That sucks. That's rough, buddy. I want to zap because I want to cycle the evolution, and I don't think it's smart, but I'm doing it anyway. I think that was better than clicking the ability because I believe in the Dagger Duchess. All right. She didn't, uh, she didn't hurt me. That's good. I was right believing in her. I was a believer. All right. This might be super stupid. I think I'm actually an idiot. I think I actually inted. There's a high chance that I just inted the game. <laughs> what am I doing? Why am I going towards that tower? What is wrong with me? Dude, there has to be something like actually wrong with me to do that. I don't want to win the game, apparently. Wait, we can go Evo Zap on all this. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. We obviously have to try it. I'm not given any other opportunity to defend this, so I kind of have to, right? I can't kill the Electro Dragons, though. I'm just dead. I'm so stupid. Oh, I'm still alive! Oh, do you believe in miracles? Do you believe in magic? I don't. I think I'm dead. How did I play this poorly? No. No. All right. All right. Wait, 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 wait. There's always a chance. <laughs> There's always a chance. There's always a small chance. No. <laughs> the just win wasn't strong enough, guys. It's okay. It's okay. Deserve loss. Why did I go in the left-hand side? Why did I just take the tower? Ah, 3 a.m. brain with maximum pain. Get some Fs in the chat. I don't want to see any lowercase Fs. Only uppercase Fs for that failure, okay? All right. Hey, we're going to get a redemption right now. We're playing against a top 1,000 player. I think we're just going to... We're, we're getting redemption. We're getting redemption. It's just how, it's how it's meant to be. When you play like an idiot and you lose... 
You deserve it. That is the most deserved loss of my life. There is no one more stupid than that. Legitimately deciding to go for the wrong tower. 3 a.m. brain. 3 a.m. brain, bros. You can't even blame that on, like, the deck. You can't blame that on anything besides being stupid. That is it. That's just a reality, you know? <laughs> Capital F's in the chat. Let's go. <laughs> you guys want me to oil up? Don't worry. I'd fail at that, too. It's okay. It's okay. I don't, I don't even know how to... I don't, I, what's oil, bro? Probably take water and just splash myself with it, man. You say oil? I'd probably grab gasoline, man. All right. It's okay. You're versus a top 9k player. And this guy's top 1,000. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Imagine having basic uh, K in your name. I don't know, dude. Couldn't be me. Love from the Philippines. This match is going to haunt you, Jake? Nah, nothing haunts me, man. It's just, uh, you know, mistakes are always going to be lessons. You make bad plays. You don't really, like, you don't do anything besides uh, let it be a memory. And then you forget it in the future. Uh, based off of, like, it doesn't matter. It, that's not going to impact me ever. Clash Royale matches generally don't impact me for that much long. Uh, even, okay, actually, that's such a lie. There have been moments where I was very tilted. There's one that is scarring. Uh, when I lost a match, I was going to win $5,000 if I won the match. It was competitive Clash Royale, and I freaking lost. I dropped a Lava Hound into an Executioner Tornado Rocket deck, and there was literally nothing I could do. And I was just like, this game is rock, paper, scissors. I hate it. Baby Rage, never lucky. And then I decided to never play competitive again. And that was that was it. <laughs> that was the straw that broke the camera's, camel's back. Also, can we not lose right now? That would be very cool. If we just, like, not lose to this guy, that would be very, very sad. All right. I think we arrows on everything. We're totally okay right now. But for how long are we going to stay okay? Dude, everyone and their mother is running Lob Hound. Interesting. A unique strategy, I say. We're fine. Definitely want to go for a zap and then reset his Inferno Dragon. Nice snowball, my guy. That is a unique strategy. Unique strategies for sure. Arrows here. I lose that tower. It's okay. Unless. Oh, please. Oh, no. I wanted to survive. I wanted to troll him so bad. All right. I need to stop doing that. If you guys have known anything about me. I have this insufferable instinct to troll my opponents, and it's not a good play. Really not a good decision. Really a bad decision. Really a bad decision. There's no way. I just threw this one, too. I tried to get the giant to tank for the Lava Pups instead of just giant graveyard and three crowning. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Maybe this game, I won't match into a Lava Hound and throw. Get some more Fs in the chat. You know how we spammed one F? We need two Fs in the chat. Two Fs in the chat. <laughs> so like, we need two Fs. Just drop them, drop them in quick succession together real quick, real quick. No, not the lowercase Fs. Please, don't disrespect me like that. <laughs> oh, FF, yes, FF. You know, in StarCraft 2, that's like forfeit. So every single time that I got BM'd in StarCraft 2, and I was like, I would two rack someone, which is a pretty cheesy strategy. Like, if you guys know, I was a Grandmaster StarCraft II people player. And um, if I cheese someone and I my two racks didn't work, like if I two racked Idra, he didn't like that. So he would like, you know, not be very nice. He would say some really mean things. But some other people would just say FF. They would just keep typing forfeit to me. I'm like, but I still have so much game to come back in. I can maybe like <laughs> double command setter and try to come back. <laughs> After I did like the cheesiest strategy, like the most no skill. Well, it wasn't no skill, but it was like zero brain th uh, thought process. There was no thought process in my uh, in my strategy, <laughs> and I got flamed for it very consistently. It was very fun though. Okay, I don't know, guys. Um, at least for me, whenever I'm losing and I'm playing Clash, I generally don't have that much fun. But when I'm on stream and we can mess around and joke about it, it's way more fun. Same thing with my friends. Um, whenever I'm losing and I'm playing Clash Royale on a Discord call, it's kind of fun. Because we joke about it. We're like, bro, you just got Walter to a different degree. How does that make you feel? And you kind of like trash talk each other. They're just like, their friends kind of trash talk me. It's kind of funny. It's not fun though. When you're just sitting there and you're losing and you're trying so hard at the end of the season. There's nothing worse than that. It's just like sh such a trash feeling. Anyway, we can... Maybe... He's, okay, okay. There's no way. There's no way we just match into a Elixir Gold player that's going to beat me. 
with an electric dragon. This can't happen. 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 Please. All right, we're live. We're live. For now. For now. He's electric dragging me again. There's no way. I needed to focus in that last game because now there's a chance I just get bad matchups like this. This is actually so unfortunate. So why this guy has the fisherman, I don't know. Please. Like, let me not get three crown right now. I obviously can't defend that. Why does he have monk? There's no way. This guy's not real. He's not a real human being. There's no way. Stop. I don't want to go to three Fs. I don't want to go to three Fs today. This deck is so good, but we are playing against the Electro Dragon. There's no reason. Oh my gosh. Well, this is actually a very, very, very bad matchup. The other games were totally my fault. I don't care though. We're embracing the meme. Three Fs in the chat. For 3 a.m. It's Finny. It's Finny. I can't believe that. These two games, I should have won, and I sucked. This game, I shouldn't have won. So I really should have only lost one game so far, really. That one, right? And the other games, I really shouldn't have lost either. Okay. There's only, like... Actually, sorry. There were two games out of all the games that we've played today that were bad matchups. Everything else has been my fault. All right. Here we go, guys. Believe in me. Belief in me. <laughs> oh, this guy is strong too. So he's he's too strong for me. Lock in. Another Lava Hound. Let's go. I'm ready for this. Give me a Lava Hound Electro Dragon. My body has been prepared for this moment my entire life. I don't know if you guys understand. I don't think you guys understand my, uh, my direction here. All right. We really did not focus in a lot of these games, but that last game was unfortunate. All right. We should be able to kill the Infer Dragon. We're in a good spot. So now we know that he's going to have Inferno Dragon with Lava Hound and also the predilection to spam all the stuff in one side because that is what you're supposed to do. However, if we go opposite side and we go in for a giant with bats, we should probably win. If you lose, oil up. If I lose, I am not going to go to bed, bed a happy man. We cannot get four Fs. Three Fs is the maximum amount that I'm willing to take. All right, let's just, just go for our graveyard here. Back the tower. We're in a pretty good spot since we are running Giant Graveyard. His balloon will not take us out. I can't say the same about my Giant Graveyard, though. That is very scary for him. He is a very scared sir. There's no way he's happy about that. We can go Night Witch right now. and We can start to spawn bats on his other tower. If he goes in for that, I mean, we zap it, right? It's kind of not a good spot. There's nothing the good spot. No, no, no. But as you can see, we have kind of thought through our decision making. We identified, hey, let's not be stupid for once. And really make the high probability play. What was the high probability play? Not defending when we didn't have a good answer to it. All right, we're going to go bats because maybe he's going to go for a spell. We want to wait a little bit. He could arrows this. It's not really the high probability play. The high probability play is knowing that I'm defending anyway, and serving elixir, and giant graveyarding, and winning the match. You guys, you got you to gotta be pretending that this is like the most important, most impeccable, most proud you've ever been of me in your lives if i win this game this is our crl okay do not say that this was easy and that i was supposed to win the entire time do not diminish my accomplishments this was crl guys and we freaking did it baby we did it full skill our opponents were so talented <laughs> it really took every brain cell okay all right all right guys we did it we did it all right so this deck is really good i might not be the best player today I might have played pretty poorly. I might have read chat and then also not given our opponent enough credit most of the games. And also went for the highlight reel moments. Why? You know, I was literally like, let's stop the lava pups from taking my tower. And then the pups popped and took my tower. <laughs> that was actually one of the most sad moments ever against this top 1000 player. I don't think I'm ever going to live that one down. Look at this, guys. I just felt like right here. I felt it in my bones that I would go in for the Lava Pups, counter with the Giant. I thought the Lava Hound was about to pop. If the Lava Hound popped and our tower was at 32 HP, there's a chance because he would have had to cycle two cards that he wouldn't have been able to get it down in time. He might not have been able to snowball, but the Lava Hound popped and it took my freaking tower. If the Lava Hound just died here, if it just died, if it just died, it would have, the Pups would have went onto the Giant instead of the tower. 
and he might not have snowballed in time because the snowball has travel time. But then my giant just died, and then I died, and it was, it was sad. We had nothing for the blue, and so we just took the L. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Sometimes bad decisions like that happen, but... David versus Goliath, and David beat me a couple times, you know? It happens. We got the giant. We got the giant Goliath. But huge, huge shout out to everyone that was a part of the stream. This is one of the most fun things I've had in a while. These streams at 3 a.m. make me feel alive. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe for daily content here. And uh, yeah, like the video if you guys want to see some of the best decks for each challenge. If you guys do play against Electro Dragon, you generally do want to go opposite lane. Um, it is a challenge playing against Golem Electro Dragon with Battle Healer. That is the worst matchup for the deck. That one, I think, is unwinnable. I do think that this was winnable if I played a little bit better. I also don't understand why he had that, but it is what it is. Um, other decks that are really good uh, with, you know, the Dagger Duchess in general are a fast cycle deck with Goblin Drill. This is a top ladder deck. Because the Dagger Duchess kind of sucks at damaging down tank decks, a lot of pro players are running Mighty Miner, so then they can comfortably kill Giants and also end up beating, you know, Golems. Uh, it's nice to have the Mighty Miner for that damage. And then also, this is the Scummy deck that I also have another video on coming soon. It's very, very fun. So, hope you guys enjoyed the stream today. If you did, drop a like, subscribe, and then also check out the pinned comment if you want to see one of my favorite videos that we've created this entire year. We played a 2.0 Elixir Goblin Barrel Cycle deck, and it was ridiculously fun. So check out the pinned comment for that, a 2.0 Elixir Log Bait Cycle. It is so ridiculously strong. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks for supporting me and being here, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Peace.